Hello there, everybody. Welcome to Metal Gear Solid 5. A lot of people are having trouble, so, you know, if you want it for you, you can go to your rewards. And you can go to your rewards and show you how to pick characters and do the guns and equipment. But this will be the, just a basic basis. Weapons. You can do the weapons. You can make all kinds of weapons. So, say you want to go into your two shell one R one, go to your weapons. Say you want to make a, uh, you want to make a cool rifle. So you just got to go in here and figure out which rifle you want to do. <clears throat> and about seven or something. Yeah, you because know, it's going to cost a ton of money to send in a other. But you know, you send this, you'll be fine. You want to have all that. See, you can still put a, uh, you can still put things under here like uh, a sleep gas grenade. You can change the colors. You can make it any color you want. Make it camo-y. I always like to make this, this, I always like to make the, uh, like a color code, you know. And of course you can change the sights. And yeah, you know, you don't really need this, so. Or you can put a sniper scope on it. But I do recommend a red dot. Uh, you don't have to have a flashlight. I think the flashlight, laser light, you know, is a pretty good, but that, there it is. You can put a laser sight on it. You can put any of them on there, and you know, that's, now you can have a muzzle, but you know what? I'm not bothered by it. Now certain we're into the weaponry here, and you know, you can pretty much do anything but these these right here. Rocket launcher. You can do these, you know. There's different types of camo schemes. You can even put silencers on them. Even on your pistols. I'd say the best pistol is this right here, this uh S U. It don't make sense to have seven when you can cut that, but this pistol here is probably the best one. See, that's the best one right there. And you know, it's a blue, so you can put any kind of camo scheme on it. Make sure you select OK, so there's that in a nutshell. So you can also, when you go over and hit L1, you can customize helicopter. You can adjust your helicopter. Mine's pretty well maxed out, of course. You can put AA missiles. You really tear some shit up in. You want to put your armor on. I got that grade six armor on. And of course your camo color. And you want to make sure that you select OK. Development. That's simply where you develop weapons. You can go and develop, and I know I've got everything pretty much developed in this part. But we're just covering this all right here in this video while we can. We're just going to go right down through. We'll cover a little movement and what the characters can do and can't do. But development's pretty simple. You just go in there and select the item that's available. If, it, if you've got enough uh, staff points, staff level to build that item, I'm high enough. I'm want maxed out at 162. But once you get in there, you can just select the item you want to build and build it, man. That's all you got to do. And sometimes it can build real quick. Sometimes it takes several days. Even for FOB events. So don't forget, FOB events can take... They build while you're offline, so if it says six days and it's a yellow Please box, the, the yellow ones can take no time at all. So usually security devices online don't take no time. Resources just tells you simply what you have, what you can sell. I mean, if you see your GMP getting low, I wouldn't sell. One thing you seem to be able to get a lot in this game is biologics. Now we're going to go land somewhere. Uh, the best thing to sell is biologic because it seems to be the most popular material around. Now you want to upgrade everything. You want to upgrade your uh, all your uh, Fulton device. You want to upgrade all your your uh, iDroid here. You want to upgrade your uh, you, you know your night vision. 
and you're folding, you're folding. Pay, pay particularly attention to your fold. When you're first starting, just folding everybody. And you can weed them out at the end of the day. Like when you're done, just go over there, the ones that ain't high enough, just fire them. And then dismiss them. Which is fairly easy. And you know, you can see your clock there. See, so say, see right here, I can just go right in there and push there and I can fill my money back up. I got full money now. And of course, I got plenty of these to sell. Trucks, weapons, I don't have none of these. I need to get some more of them. But these, I got these little mechs. I got plenty of these. I'll talk about them later. I ain't building a nuclear weapon for a while. And you know, staff management, you can just go in there and reallocate your staff wherever you want to put them. You know, sometimes you may have characters that you don't want in a certain place. But my combat, that's simple. It ain't really hard. All you gotta do is just follow it. Don't make it any more complicated than possible. It's not that hard. It shows you how to do that in the pregame. If you follow the story mode, I think it's like the third, second, third mission. It shows you how to allocate and move soldiers, see? See, and this shows you what grade they are and what combat. If you see in the combat zone, you know, see, if you see in his combat, he's got S++ all the way across. So he'll work in any, you know, area. In combat, R&D, basic development, base development, support, intel, and medical. This guy is an all-round boss. And what he did, he got him a star for raiding the base, a cross, he got injured, and he got the reward for doing missions, three of them. This one's got two of them. He's got three. I've got several bosses like that. It's got S++. Uh, I don't know which one they are, really. There's all kinds of little tricks online, too, where you can help friends. There's one right there. He don't even have the one yet. Yeah. There's two. Now, if you look there with their, at the, what they are, Medic 3, Gunman, Medic 3, that's good. You want him over increased PF durability attacking stats. So, attacking's where you want him. You know, if you want to be here, that's where he needs to be. Now, some of them, like an athlete, he can move, he, it says there, longer reflex gun mode. Athletes, faster sprinting, uh, rescuer, I guess if you want to know the truth, Diplomat kind of keeps the peace if there's a rowdy one. Keeps the peace. There he is, Defender 2. This Defender 2, he's good at defending, so you want him in security. So Defender, and I can't remember the other guy, is called a... Uh, now Botanist always picks up more uh, plant life. Um, Sentry, you want a sentry, and there's another one, defender. Sentry and a defender, yeah. So sentry, as it says there, you want them, you want them there on defense. That's this, security team. Now this side of the aisle, you want all the, uh, you can have medics, you can have medics, because that's, they're the attacking force. And there's another guy, creeping shark, he's a full boss. Uh, the ones you can have in here, I'll, I'll find one in a minute. Just give me a minute. Oh, yeah, Rangers. Rangers are good for attacking. Them guys right there increase attack boost from liquid carbon missile. Increase amount varies according to level. So that's all in the other end. But we're not going to really mess with that too much. You know, you can move these guys. Base facilities, this is the facilities you build. Now mine's all maxed out, but you can build them. Sometimes it takes, the lower the rank, the lesser the days it takes. Like if you're on stage one, it don't take very long, three days, four days, seven days, you know, and so far. It takes quite a while when you get up to like four, four. It can take a long time to build them, guys and gals. Very long time. Uh, so just make sure you have a little patience. But they will build offline, some of them. The FOBs will build offline, like these right here will build. These won't. These mother bases here, four or four, one through four, will not build offline, but these FOBs will. You know, there's four of them. They will build each one of them. Each one of them is unique. 
and you can set your security on them you can get insurance and if you get insurance you don't ever have to worry about someone attacking you and losing any soldiers nor you have to worry about anybody stealing any equipment if they come and raid you who cares you you don't have to worry about it be as if it'll be as if they raided you and you never lost a thing but nuclear weapons they can take if you have a nuclear weapon they can take your stuff so you see there i am i'm level 78 now that's pretty high if you raid my base at level this high now see these levels here have several i can show you that later that's a little trick i learned about where you can help one friends get s plus plus soldiers i discovered that so it's just a little trick but i want to i want to keep going we got a long long way to go yet but the basic controls here is what you need to know in the metal gear play this is just like I say basics it ain't no big deal the main thing is just keep keep playing for fun don't work and as you level up you get points see so see right here I could get a crap load of S plus soldiers I got 1,727,000 now let it build up and you can get a bunch of ranked soldiers always get the threes and I think this is the best way to get to combat soldiers do not use nothing but combat soldiers on SPF points earned you can raid high-ranking people to get the other and of course your PF grade your database is an encyclopedia of all the stuff you've done you've captured all your plants all your code names you know your wild animals that you found documentations like all your blueprints key items it's all the stuff you found there's some spoilers all the pictures you found and all the pictures that you find from your soldiers that's all that is in the middle parts of the map of course you can put waypoints you know you know you can push down and ask, ask the helicopter to remove all marker you can say uh, I want to put a marker I want to put a marker over yeah. say I want to go over to wall sand barracks all right, so you just go over here, hit missions. So I guess we could carry this. The return to mother base takes you back to mother base, obviously. Cassette tapes, obviously all the tapes you found, they're all the cassettes you get in story mission and find them along. These are music tapes you find throughout both areas. Pretty easy. I don't own any of them. Uh, you know, you can just put them on. You can hit square and put it on your heli. heli. And I don't own that music, so I'm probably going to get the flag air on that. Uh, but there's all kinds of cool moves. And you can have birds. You can, uh, you remember this one. <laughs> so you could even make the cassettes. Now relationships is kind of tricky. That's the online part where you can have your friends. You can kind of raid your friends if you got insurance and you can trade S plus plus soldiers and increase your soldiers. Now there's a little trick to that. What you gotta do is put a, a few, you know, block all your, like your, a, only put your A plus, plus, I guess I can show you. Let's let it load up then I can show you a little better. First you wanna pick some friends that you got you can pick any friends you know like here's a friend I can support that guy whenever he gets up there to level 20 I, you got to get to 22 before you can raid other bases it's just that simple the player cannot land or accept support since they do not yet own an FOB but that's okay no no big deal do not worry about it. I mean, if they don't have it, don't worry about it. Okay. I'm stuck.
Huh. Oh, I don't know what happened. I guess it kicked off, didn't it? Hold on, I'll be back. There it goes. Alright, so you can go into side ops combat deployment. That's where you go get gear. You don't have to do it if you don't want. But I want to go ahead and take you to the ground and show you how to do a few things. How to select your buddies and all the gear. We can talk about the gear if you request it. I'll definitely, I'll definitely put it on there if you want to know something about gear. But this is just the basics 101, part one. We'll do a little as we go, here and there. But it's very important to develop your FOB, your your um, your non-lethal weapons, because that's what you want, the uh, Fulton soldiers, your eye droid, your uh, night vision. You know, you go into these things. So let's go ahead and pick a just a random area. So you just go right here and you can go right here. Pick that location. Now you can pick several buddies. You can pick D Dog. You can pick Quiet with her uh, lethal weapon. You can change her into all the outfits she's got. You can make her anything you want. You can see, I kind of made her. You, know, you can make her the Gray Fox XOF Warrior. Or you can make her bloody. You can make her bloody. All right. Or you can make a, take, pick another, you can take the D horse. He's cool. Or she, whatever he is, or D-Dog. I like D-Dog, D-Dog helps you a lot. And you can select different outfits for him too. He's got a knife. We'll just take the stun for now, okay? Now, in equipment. I've got pretty good primary weapons, but uh, that pistol's gotta go. So we'll just go ahead and take this S plus pistol. That's a good pistol. Now I do have a few goodies that I can take along. I can take a, well we won't take that high of a stun. We'll take a lower one. You don't have to take all that stuff. Uh, let's take an active decoy too. And let's take a knocker, well we don't really need knocker nice, but we got D-Dog. So what we can do, we can take a little prototype stealth camo to kind of like blend in if, if we're going to go in there and do a few things. And you know, we try to get this all developed, see. That allows you more, as you can see, balloons. And you want this wormhole device. The eye droid, you want it build up to the max and in Intel scope. And of course you want that right there to level five. Alright, now that's really all you need. Now you can change characters. Now I can change characters. You know, I can put her in a bikini. You know, it ain't gonna matter. You can run real fast like this. Or you can put her in this. You can put her in a blue swim. We'll go in that. Let's go right in daytime. We'll do the basics here. Using scopes and all that while we're here. And pay attention to these little things as you're loading. You can read all this and discover how to do things. The music changes, yeah. Anytime you're in a hideout and you're moving, you hear the music change the tempo, you're getting close to enemy. Night. Nighttime's a very good time to go. You just use your night vision and you can uh, infiltrate a lot of the bases and stuff at night better than in daytime. Their vision ain't as good, they don't see as far, but you'd be able to spot them if you spot them from a, you know, if you have D Dog, he's going to light them up. Now he'll make, he'll, He'll reveal all the animal locations. He'll reveal plants, soldier location. Now, Quiet will reveal all just enemy locations. And she can take them out too. And she can hit grenades and reflect them from a place to where she, you need it to go. Like if you're in a position where you can't get the grenade to go, just throw it and tell her aim and throw it and she'll shoot it and knock it in there. We'll use her here in a little bit. We'll, I'll call her down and let her let her come into the area. We'll just kind of work a little bit with some actions like, you know, CQC and all that while it's loading. Now the thing is, you don't have to play online. You do not have to play online. 
you know you can simply when it loads up I'll show you see right now I'm playing online it's best if you're going to play to stay offline if you if you don't want to worry about your FOB if you don't want to worry about your FOB partner it's best not to even play online because if you're not if you keep insurance you don't have to worry about it. or you can use the old save file correct so you, actually you can disconnect and it'll make your game play a lot smoother offline see it will change your DMP but no problem so see here's D dog he's cool if you look at him he'll bark at you yep. and you can turn you can use these guns here Pick up them plants by walking up to them. And you see them on your map. See that there? Now watch this. I can go into visible mode. You can just, you get money for this too. He's in the wormhole. Uh, uh, we may go ahead and... Now hear that music change? See, see the music change? So see, some of them pretty good soldiers. That's one thing you can do. Now you can hold them up. And then you can hold L1 and say tell, ha, or the rest. Or you just sneak up to them and go. You can question him. So you can raid bases and everything. Climb these rat. Now you can see them cracks there with uh, night vision. See? Aim and sniper weapon. Switching weapon. Pushing up, left, right.
See the red dots picking up? That's D dog. Fuck no. I mean, you can run through here and pick up all of them. Take all the materials you want. You can sell. Take the jeeps, vehicles. If they act like they're going to give and it's say red, you might want to... Now you can call in support. You can, if you get busted and you want to do this, just hit options, go down, hit a helicopter, or you can go in and uh, let a helicopter in right here to start tearing hell. Now make keep in mind when them helicopters come, they they will kill. weapons you can get. You can make a lot of money in this game. You know, if you if you wanna and if you wanna do this now every base has one of these little transport things. All you, all you need is a cardboard box. So see, all you need right here is a cardboard. First, go ahead and get all your goodies. Definitely. 
So see, right now I can transport. You see, I can actually transport away. But you've got to have all these places unlocked. There's like a little piece of paper on each one of them. And you go in there and take them out. Now to get rid of the helmets and shields and stuff, you got to go send guys out on them missions. simply walk right up here and get your sticker and you can transport here. soldiers and it will pick one of your soldiers up. The precious metals I don't worry about too much. Pretty easy on the basic control there, buddy. I'd say the probably the hardest thing is moving soldiers around and FOB events. Probably the hardest. I guess I could call quiet in. Just go back here. And let's see, go to mission, buddy support, we can do Miss D Dog.
and of course you can change the functions That's pretty simple. And you got a map too. Fire can do all kinds of things. So here's one thing she can do. So say you got a grenade. You want to hold it? You can lay down to keep it from seeing it. Then just simply crawl away. All you gotta do. All you gotta do is use the cover. So this is pretty much how you just run around and get all kinds of materials. You can build your materials. Now see these little helmets on the end? You can change appearance. You can send out soldiers for them if you want them. I'm not worried about it. If you say you, you're tired of playing, you want to return to ACC, you can. pretty simple that's it that's it for basics 101a I hope you liked it thanks for watching peace out we'll be back with 101b later